Derek Young of K-State Online here with four-star quarterback Kansas State commit Jake Rubley. Behind the camera, of course, Grant Flanders. We're at Highlands Ranch High School, home of Jake Rubley. Uh, committed to Kansas State just a couple weeks ago. Uh, first off, just what brought you to K-State and making that decision? Um, you know, Coach Kleiman, he had a great staff. And my uh, actually, my dad and Coach Kleiman used to be, when my dad was getting recruited, he was bringing him around, showing him at uh, Northern Iowa. So. You know, we kind of a connection there, and Coach Klein has been recruiting me since my freshman year. And Coach Klein is, you know, he's Coach Klein. He's the best he is, and you know, it's just Kansas State. It's close to home, and uh, I just wanted to take a visit, and I ended up falling in love with the place. All right, and now Colin Klein recruited you since your freshman year. What kind of connection do you guys have, or maybe what was some of the message that he kind of delivered to you that kind of helped you make your decision? Uh, he basically told me, he's like, you're our guy. He's like, you're what we're looking for. You know, our offense is going to build around you. And that's kind of like what I was looking for is a team that believes in me and a, you know, a coach that's going to believe in me. And Coach Klein, you know, he's, he's done it at Kansas State. He's been at the top and he's been the Heisman candidate. So that's kind of a role model for me. Now, you mentioned, you know, your father's connection with Coach Kleiman. Uh, Coach Kleiman hosted your father on a recruiting visit at yes, the University of Northern Iowa. Was that like a relationship that they kept from that visit? Uh, actually, not really. It was just kind of a coincidence type thing. And when they like, kind of uh, met again when I took a visit, it was kind of a funny, funny conversation they had, and it was pretty cool. Yeah. Now, your father is your coach as well. Yes, sir. What kind of goes into the experience of having your father be your head coach? I mean, I'm sure not a lot of people have had that experience. So what are some of the pros and maybe even cons? Uh, the pros, you know, my dad, I feel like he's been at the highest level, so he knows, he knows you know, the ins and outs of all football, and it helps me 100%. It's like having a coach 24-7 with you and helps my game. The cons, you know, it's, he's always going to be the hardest on you. You know, in practice, he's always going to be kicking your butt and bringing out his anger on you. So, I mean, it's kind of what you got to deal with. But, you know, it's definitely a lot more pros than there are cons. Now, clearly, he's probably supported your decision to commit to Kansas State. What were kind of his thoughts going through the process? You considered a bunch of schools clearly. Uh, was, was he favoring Kansas State as well? Um, yes, he loved, you know, he grew up in Iowa, so he loves the Midwest, and you know, he loves Coach Kleiman, thought he was a great guy, and, you know, he loves the offense. You know, they spit out quarterbacks in the NFL when they're at North Dakota State, so, I mean, he, it's kind of, that's what, what his goal is for me is hopefully to make the NFL one day, and I think I can do that at Kansas State with their offense. He played in the NFL as well. Were you able to, do you remember being around the NFL programs at all? Uh, no, so I was born when he was out of the NFL, so I was, I was a few years short, but <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. All right. Now, plenty of other schools tried to lure you to their programs and their campus as well, LSU being one, I think, and they just won a national championship. Uh, how did you distinguish Kansas State from those schools? Uh, I just It just felt like a better fit. You know, the town of Manhattan, is a, it's a great town. I just love the people there. And, I don't know, somebody just sit well in my stomach that I was like, I want to be I want to be a cat and other schools I didn't feel that as much as I did at Kansas State. LSU was one of those schools. Uh, who else was like very close, I guess, with Kansas State when you were making that choice? Yeah, CU was uh, right in that group. Uh, Iowa was right in that group. North, Co or North Carolina State, probably the top five I had. Okay. And now when you came to having connections and relationships with coaches, you mentioned with Klein and with Klein, and was was it as simple as you felt a better connection and got along or connected with them just a little bit better than the other coaches? Uh, I wouldn't say that's not the only reason, but it was definitely I don't know. I just felt that click between us, and you know they said you're our guy, and that's you kind of the most important thing is that the coaches want you as their player, and that you want to be their guy. You know it's. Okay, and you've, you've kind of discussed your visits to Manhattan. I think you were there twice? Yes, sir. Okay, the first one I think was a summer trip. Uh, no one, I don't think anyone expected that to kind of unfold. Uh, I know it caught me by surprise, you know, Jake Rubley, top five quarterback, four-star quarterback visiting Manhattan. Uh, take me through kind of the experience of what happened on that first visit over the summer. I was actually kind of awkward. So I thought there was a camp that day. So I came with all my pads and my helmet, and I was getting ready to throw the ball, and they're like, actually, there's no camp. Uh, we're just going to take you on a tour. So I mean, that was kind of awkward, but it was it was great to get out there and see the campus and see the area. And it was, it was a great first trip, but it was kind of funny. <laughs> what, what stood about uh, other than, you know, the misunderstanding of what, yeah. the, it not being a camp, I guess what, what stood out about that at first experience that maybe was different from the second one? I just love their offense. You know, I sat down with Coach Kleiman for at least two hours just 
going over their offense and seeing what they do best and what they did at North Dakota State and then and then going back my last visit seeing what they actually did at Kansas State to like compare them to it was, it was unbelievable and like what they did in that last year was was great strides and I mean I I can only see them going up from here. Being kind of you have that pro style quarterback label and you talked about the type of offense is that something you and your father were kind of into because an offense that was maybe more conducive to a pocket passer or at least a pro style quarterback? Yeah that's that's exactly what we were kind of looking for is just uh an offense that we can that I would I'd do well in, not offense that you know I'd be going in with a you know not not going to be my do my best ability, but uh, yeah. So just uh, that's kind of what I was looking for, and then the coaches were just unbelievable. You know, I just felt that connection it was great. All right, and Taylor Bratt, of course, is the director of recruiting. Quite a personality, quite a character. Yeah. Uh, what it's kind of been your like your interactions like with him, and what what oh, I guess what do you think about when you hear about Taylor Bratt? <laughs> I know everyone calls him Sped, but <laughs> I know I, lo I love Coach Taylor. You know he, he brought me around last time. We were spent almost two days with him, and you know he's a great guy. You know he loves Kansas State. He's got a purple Jeep and purple shoes, and you know, he's he's a Kansas State through and through. And I mean that's who you gotta have. I love it. Your second visit was I think for the Iowa State game, uh, the home finale as well, and they, and they won that game. Uh, Take me through that visit. I think you were there probably a little bit longer than you were the first time. What stood out about that experience? I guess we're, what are some parts that kind of resonated with you? Yeah, I, uh, I think the biggest kind of standout for me was just the fans, fans and involvement. You know, they, the fans were crazy. I, I didn't expect that from Kansas State. You know, the night before I went to dinner with Coach Kleiman and, and uh, the band came in singing the fight song and all that, and I was just like, wow, this is awesome. And everyone, just everyone, just Kansas State loves football and they love their Kansas State school. And, you know, it was just unbelievable seeing getting out there at that night game. And when they ran back that opening kickoff, you know, it was just great to hear that roar in that crowd. It was awesome. It's also a cold game, but it's probably something you're not obviously a stranger to. Uh, and beating Iowa State, is there another, I guess, part of the visit, or any of the two visits that – really where you felt like this is probably where I want to be or what did it come afterwards well it kind of came afterwards when I was you know I took some more visits after that and I just kind of like going through pros and cons lists and I was like wow Kansas State I don't really see any cons with them you know I'm not really checking any cons so like that was just I was like wow yeah no, I think Kansas State's gonna be a thing and you know Coach Klein and I have been keeping up and like keeping up to date and it was it just felt right we kind of talked about this off camera of course about you know you had plenty of suitors as well. Has it slowed down now that you have committed? I'm sure it's, it's an evaluation period right now. It's an open period. Do, do schools still come by and try to change your mind? Um, yeah, no, the schools DM me and they try to come in, but um, I just tell them like, I'm happy with my commitment right now. And you know, if that's, that's basically it. I'm like, appreciate you for wanting me, but I'm, I'm a cat. So that's all I say. Yes, sir. It was an early decision that you took or made at, it's uh, about a year before you actually enroll. Did you envision making this decision as early as you did, or did it? You just found that clarity earlier than expected. No, I kind of told the top three schools that I had. I was like, I'm going to make it by New Year's, and that's kind of a couple of days before New Year's. I was just making that last, one last pros and cons list, and then I kind of told my parents the New Year's Eve, and I was just like, Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go commit. And that's actually technically when I called Coach Kleiman and committed. That came out publicly the next day. Uh, yeah, so like that was kind of the timeline that I was holding myself to. So, what was your parents' reaction when you first told them that you were going to be a Wildcat? I, I came upstairs after the phone call. I was like, "Hey, mom, and dad, I committed." And my dad started screaming, and my mom started crying. <laughs> it was awesome. It was just great to see them that happy. And I was with actually family friends at the time, and they were all cheering to give me hugs. So it was it was a great experience. So you actually told them after you told Coach Kleiman? I did. Yes, sir. No, I didn't. I didn't tell my parents I was. And then I was on the phone call. I was like, "Yeah, Coach, I want I want to be a cat." And then. I went upstairs and I told them, and it was it was great. <laughs> it was great. It was fun. Yeah. Uh, the K State coaches, when you told them, obviously you called Coach Kleiman, yeah. uh, like you said. Uh, well, I'm sure they were just as excited. Anything palpable or rem or that you remember from that phone call or that reaction? Yeah. No. When I so Coach Kleiman and Coach Klein were on the phone call with me at the same time, and uh, right when I said it, they both just they're like, "Yes, let's go!" And they both gave them high fives and. They were giving other people high fives, and Coach Kleiman texted me. He's like, "I just hugged, I just hugged a worker at the hotel they're at, and it was funny. It was just a great time, and I just loved to see their excitement and their and their reactions." 
I hinted at this earlier. You you are planning to be an early enrollee, so yes, you have a year left of high school. Um, how quickly do you anticipate, I guess, getting ready to go to Kansas State? And, and just what does it mean to you that, you know, less than a year from now you're going to be a Wildcat? No, it means everything to me. I'm, I'm super excited. You know, it, it, it's almost like I want to leave right now. You know, but I still got to be here with my friends and be with my teammates here at Hound Ranch for another year. But, you know, once, once that year is up, I'm, I'm going to be ready to be a cat. I'm excited. We spoke to a staff member. He walked us into this gymnasium on the way here. Uh, that is a Kansas State fan, actually. Yeah. And he said, dude, 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 have you checked? And they're losing all of their offensive line, which kind of leads <laughs> me into my, my question here. Uh, how active are you or have you been? recruiting for Kansas State in the class of 2021. Obviously, I think there's four commits already. Is it, is, are you taking it upon yourself to kind of be active and kind of lead the way in, in that regard? Yeah, it's kind of like one of the reasons why I wanted to commit early, because I wanted to build a strong class and help recruit. Hopefully my, uh, my commitment helps persuade people, but you know, I just, I've been trying to help, or I've been trying to DM people, try to get them going, trying to take officials when I take them, you know, trying to be their friend, you know, trying to, trying to get them to be a cat. Is there any specific names you'd be willing to share that you're kind of trying to convince uh, the good of Manhattan? I'm trying to get Bo Stevens. You know, he's a big old lineman. I need him out here. And Devin Neal, too. I need that running back out here. And I've been trying to really work on those right now. And then uh, Austin Weiner, or Weiner, sorry. <laughs> Austin Weiner, and I'm trying to get him out here. So, yeah, we're, we're, I'm trying. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, do you have another visit set to Manhattan or at least a timetable in which you hope to return? Um, I think just on my official visit, I haven't really taken on, I'm not really planning on official until then. Uh, things could change for sure, but I'm, yeah, as of right now, just my official. Is there any schools that are kind of still going at you that you have to fend off of specifically? <laughs> CU is a big one. You know, they told me they're not going to stop recruiting me. Um, Utah has been a big one too, and kind of Miami is also kind of in, but I just keep telling them like, hey coach, like, I'm a cat, I'm sorry, but I just kind of got to let you know. When you started this process, started apologize for going clear back to the beginning. Yeah. Obviously, you found what you wanted in Kansas State, but what, what, what were two or three things that you said these schools have to meet? Um, the biggest one is stability. I wanted a coach that's going to be there for a while. I don't want to like go in there and then a coach leaves and then things get weird and then politics come in. I want a coach that's there and that recruited me and then wanted me there. Uh, I just wanted a great fan base. You know, great fan base is everything. It helps support the team. You know, it helps the community, the university, everything involved. And then the last one was I just want to have good teammates around me. You know, I see that culture around Kansas State, and I see those guys. They, they seem happy. I went to a practice before the game, and they seemed unbelievably happy, and they all love each other, and it's a great atmosphere there. We'll go back to the fans in closing here. Yeah. Uh, this is your, your time right here. Anything you want to say to the fans right now? Um, they're clear fans of you. <laughs> um, uh, I'm excited to be a cat, and let's, let's go win a Big 12. Go Cats. <laughs> All right, for Jake, I'm Derek Young at KSO. Stay tuned to the site for plenty more coverage on four-star Kansas State quarterback commit Jake Rubley. Hey, Jake, if you wanted a backdrop so I could give you an idea of how long ago my dad played, uh, but that was the mascot running around back then. But, uh, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh, six, what, six and a half. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really not that. No, it's just one street all the way down.